Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I uh, got a real quick food review for you today. I'm um, at, at Arby's and I uh, got a, what they call is a, a Bacon Ranch Wagyu Steakhouse Burger. Um, they've never, that I know of, have had burgers before so that's something new and so I guess it's a limited time deal. I didn't know what W-A-G-Y-U stood for. Um, and I googled it and it comes up that it's an all Jap it's all Japanese cattle pretty much um, they're supposed to be highly marbled and that's why it's uh, kind of something different I guess um, the burger patty is uh, only got a percentage of it uh, that Wagyu Japanese uh, cattle in it um, so I'm not sure what percentage is actually in there it could be one percent I have no idea uh, probably probably very little probably just for marketing uh, but anyways uh, I didn't know that when I first bought it but I'm gonna try it out and see um, it's a uh, it's got the Wagyu steakhouse burger patty it's got bacon uh, American cheese shredded lettuce pickles red onions tomatoes Parmesan peppercorn ranch sauce and I don't know how you pronounce this. B R I O C H E bun, brioche bun. Um, I looked up that. I didn't know what that was. It's a French style of bread. Um, it's enriched with I think it says egg, eggs, butter, and something else. I don't remember. It's just basically a French bun, a French bun. Um, so I'm gonna get in here real quick and get testing it and tasting it and see what it's like. Comes in a package like that. Here it is. I thought it would be a little bigger than it is. It's not not the cheapest thing. I can't remember exactly what it cost, but um, I thought it would be a little bit bigger. But it is pretty thick. I don't know if you can see the patty in there. Pretty thick. So um, you just see if I can get this bun off of here so you can see it. Here's the ranch sauce and the lettuce. Hard to hold. I don't want to drop it. Kind of hard to see. I think the onions are underneath the patty the way it looks. So uh, we'll give her a quick try and see how it is. So far, so good. It's got a little bit of a kind of a natural I'd say like a grill flavor to it like it was cooked on a barbecue grill a little maybe smoky flavor or something not not smoky but just cooked on like a, I don't know how to explain it kind of a barbecue flavor and that could be from the bacon too I like it. It's pretty good. It, um, by the picture, it looked like it wasn't well done, uh, but it is well done. I don't like my burgers um, raw in the middle or whatever. Some people do, um, but this one's pretty well done. So. pretty good something different from Arby's so um just because they're a little bit smaller than I expected um I'm gonna give them like a four and a half thumbs up out of five um pretty good I'd, I'd recommend it uh, I did watch one they got another one that's a deluxe burger it's just it doesn't have the bacon I believe and it's got doesn't have the ranch sauce on it I'm not sure uh, I watched one another lady review one of them and uh she didn't like the lettuce. The lettuce is a little bit soggy, I guess, if you waited too long. Um, but it's like at any, you know, shredded lettuce gets soggy pretty quick anyways. So um, so I give it a four and a half or, a, you know, like about a four and a half thumbs up, I'd say. It's pretty good. So uh, just a little expensive, but everything is expensive nowadays. So 
Uh, I can't blame them for that because that's everything's crazy now the way the economy is right now and stuff in the world. So, okay, so just want to do a quick review and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now.